This is my tutorial on bringing Flash into Acrobat and we're going to take these two Swift files and display it in the PDF. So I'm going to come up here in Acrobat 9 Professional and we're going to assemble a PDF portfolio. Now on the right hand side here we have our options and before I select my option I'm going to bring in the two Swift files and I'll select this one. I kind of like this one. And the Windows Revolve. It reminds me of iTunes and it's pretty cool. So we can change the color over here if we want to, and we can also change the text and play around with the layout. Um, you can do a lot of things with this, but just the idea of displaying um, Flash in a PDF um, seemed very appealing to me because I notice a lot of people, when they receive a Swift file, if they're not familiar with Flash in that way, uh, there's a lot of awkward looks and um, confusion on how to uh, play the file, and often they don't have the desktop player. So this is a really cool thing. So I'm going to go to File save portfolio and I'm going to save it to my desktop and right here this is how the user would view the um, the portfolio and I could double click on the file here all the buttons seem to work just fine that's some animation I did and we can come back here and this is the other Swift file So that was my tutorial on bringing Flash into Acrobat. I also put um, a link to the article I wrote about this a couple of days ago. Oddly enough, um, somebody over at Adobe saw the article and started talking about it on Twitter. And um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. That was pretty cool because I don't expect Adobe to be looking at anything I do. Um, but I noticed the blog and the website got a lot of activity from it. So a well, big thanks to the people over at Adobe, um, the Acrobat development team actually. Um, for even anybody over there noticing the article. That was really cool. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys later.